Have you ever come across the term EBITDA? Let's learn more about it in this capsule. EBITDA stands for Earnings Before Interest, Tax, Depreciation and Amortization. It is a measure used often to value businesses. EBITDA measures the operating performance of a company. Deductions like interest, tax, depreciation and amortization are not considered as they are not operating in nature and are uncontrollable. Let's take a look at the advantages of EBITDA. EBITDA helps investors compare profitability of various companies. EBITDA gets a bad rap in the financial world. But why is that? Firstly, as investors, unethical accounting techniques are used to inflate revenues and interest, taxes, depreciation and amortization are factored out of the equation. Almost any company will look great. For companies with high debt, EBITDA isn't a good performance indicator as such companies may also have a low net income. To calculate EBITDA, we simply deduct cost of goods sold and operating expenses from sales. This process starts off with sales from which cost of goods sold are deducted to arrive at the gross profit. After this, operating expenses are deducted from the gross profit and finally we arrive at EBITDA. Thus, as shown in the example, we arrive at EBITDA of 6 lakh rupees. Investment in securities market are subject to market risk. Read all related documents carefully before investing.